I'm not ready for this box. It's that good. <laughs> it is that good. <laughs> Hello friends, wizards, witches and muggles. Welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing really well. <gasps> oh, okay, today we are unboxing the box we've all been waiting for. It has arrived at last. My owl delivered it. It's the Lit Joy Crate Magical Edition. Year six. That's right, this box is themed around Harry Potter and the Half-Blood Prince, which is one of my favourite films, actually. Look at this box. Can we just talk about it? I would like to mention, before we get started, this box has kindly been sent to me for free by LitJoy to review for you guys, and that's what we're going to be doing today. I can't wait because <gasps> I need to calm down. We all need a little bit of chill. But yes, look! Look, 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 look! And then we've got Harry and Dumbledore. What else have we got? We've got many things. We've got a lot of potions and memories. Oh, it's very, very exciting. Oh, got the dark mark over here and some little witches on broomsticks. Damn, this box is absolutely beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Okay, let, let's start the video, shall we? If you're brand new to my channel, hello, welcome. Don't forget, you can click the subscribe button if you'd like to become part of our weird, magical online family. But let's go, because... <laughs> Oh, I nearly forgot about the add-ons. Oh. <laughs> this is like the holy grail of subscription boxes. Okay then, here we have it. Oh, she's heavy. I've been so excited for this box. Lit Joy only do two of their magical editions a year. In fact, we've got year seven left, but we've actually got two year sevens left. They're dividing it into two boxes. And I'm very excited. Let's just open it. Got my knife. Oh, I'm not ready for it. I'm really not ready for it. I've avoided all spoilers miraculously as well. <sighs> Ooh. Ooh. Oh, look at that. Got cauldrons, advanced potion making, which says this book is property of the Half Blood Prince. <sighs> oh, okay. Oh, cheeky spoilers. I don't know where to start. I'm fairly sure that this is the cheat sheet. So the one fabulous thing about LitJoy is they do some incredible cheat sheets for all of the items in the box and this is it. it says beware, protect your home and family from death eaters. We're gonna come back to that later because this witch don't want no spoilers. <sighs> oh, I don't want to open it. I mean I do but I'm not ready. Okay. I'm genuinely not ready for this. So we've got some green, black and white wiggly worms. Okay what have we got here? Oh, you know what? I'm gonna start off with the stuff on top. It's a tote bag and it's, ah! Okay, we've got Fred and George, Weasley's Wizard Wheezies, and their bags are always fantastic. Look at the back. Oh, we've got, oh my goodness, we've got extendable ears. We've got pygmy puffs. We've got fever fudge, fainting fancies. Those funny little detonators thing, decoy detonators. Oh, this is lovely. Oh, we got a nosebleed nougat. And oh, this is so lovely. This is so nice. Their tote bags are actually ones that I really enjoy. A lot of tote bags that you get are like really bad quality and it's just like eh. But these ones, it's like, oh, there's a pocket inside. Yes, that's what I'm talking about. Really lovely artwork. What a lovely start. Ugh, I can see things. Ah! Okay. It's a very lovely bag, but I need to talk about what I've just seen. Oh, oh, <laughs> this is why this is the best description box. Okay, caring for your own pygmy puff. It's in a, I want to cry. I actually want to cry. I need to, okay, right. So here's the box. We've got pink cage. I've got a little pygmy puff, I can see it's little feet. I'm gonna get it out in a moment, but let's talk about the box. So it says, pygmy puffs, the perfect pet for any student. Warning, while you are sleeping, pygmy puffs may attempt to eat your earwax with their long tongues. Ew. <laughs> Caring for your pygmy puff, one. Name your pygmy puff. Every pygmy puff needs a name and naming your puff will help with bonding. I have to think of a good name. Leave a comment down below of what I should name my pygmy puff because there's gonna be a lot of good names. Okay, so number two, feed it. A pygmy puff eats just about anything, but do not feed it chocolate. I wonder what happens when you feed a pygmy puff chocolate. Does anyone know? Number three, prepare a shelter for it. Pygmy puffs need their own home. A box with a blanket inside will do fine. Oh my goodness, this is so cute. Number four, play with it. 
All pygmy puffs need love and attention. Play with your puff regularly and you will have a loyal friend for life. Oh my God, this is so cute. Okay, wow. This is hilarious. <laughs> look at, look at you, bloop, 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 bloop. That's so cute. I love that it's come in a little pink cage. That's so adorable. I'm so gonna hang that on my shelf somehow. This is so cute. Look, if I turn it around, it's got four little feet. Oh, you're so cute. This is so adorable. And inside, there's a certificate of adoption. This certifies that Cherry Wallace has officially adopted this pygmy puff and has given it the name. I haven't given it a name yet. I will think about that, but I was not expecting something like this in this box. The packaging, is absolutely glorious to the fact I'm gonna have to keep it. Get back in your little box. I will name you, I promise. We'll do some bonding later. Wow, okay. Are we ready for the rest of the box? Because I'm not sure that I am. Okay. Little box. You guys know what I say. Good things come in cute boxes, small boxes. This says Lit Joy Crate. The box is beautiful quality. It's kind of like this metallic green. Very nice. Okay. Hello, We've, we're met with a note. Are you shitting me? Okay, let's read the note first. To the Dark Lord, I know I will be dead long before you read this, but I want you to know that it was I who discovered your secret. I have stolen the real Horcrux and intend to destroy it as soon as I can. I face death in the hope that when you meet your match, you will be mortal once more. R.A.B. This is beautiful. It's a Slytherin locket and it's really ornate. It's so beautiful. What? Our words have gone. Well done, Lit Joy Crate. You have made me speechless. Let's see what's inside. So this is inside so that you can put pictures in there if you want. It looks really kind of vintage. Wow. I wasn't expecting that. I love that it came with this note. I would actually wear that. It's stunning. It's it's really wearable. It's really, really beautiful. How long's the chain? So it's got quite a nice length chain. Oh, it's so pretty. Oh, wow. Okay. This box does some things to me, I tell you. That is stunning. And we're only three items in. This box is so full still. <sighs> okay, <sighs> I can see loads of things in small boxes. <clears throat> That's what we like. Okay, what are you in this? Ha! Huh? Oh, so cute. Oh, it's a it's it's an Amal Tantra Love Potion. Oh, it's got the tassel. <gasps> oh, I actually bought some tassel. I'm gonna put a tassel on mine. I did do a DIY of a love potion not so long ago. If you'd like to check that out, then check out the video in the little information thing somewhere. But this is so cute. This is their very, oh, oh, no way. Hang on. God, they've gone one step further and made this really cool. It's a candle. And, oh, that is exactly what my love potion would smell like. Oh, that's so good. I think I just inhaled a little bit of glitter, but it smells so good and it was worth it. Um, I don't know what, oh my goodness. It actually smells like oranges, to me anyway. Oh man, that smells good. I love that they've got the little tassel and the cork, but yes, it is indeed a candle. There's the wick that, that is just genius, making a love potion candle. Oh, it smells so good. I want to eat it or drink it or something. I'm in love. Oh, okay, hmm, it's nice. Okay, um, wow, okay. Let's see what this is. This looks like a stand for something. Ooh, have I just given myself a spoiler? So something in this box. Oh, please tell me this is gonna be a bottle of Felix Felicis in a little stand. You know the little stand that you get in potions class in the Half-Blood Prince because, mm, okay. Let's just wait for that. Let's see what else is inside this box. Okay, let's, in fact, no, let's go stand to one side. Okay, oh man, this box is 
gonna be the death of me. Okay, so we all know that in the Half-Blood Prince, Horcruxes are a thing, they're being hunted for and being destroyed. This is the Gaunt Family Ring to put on the back of your phone. It's a phone stand. I need a new phone case, ASAP. This is so cool. Oh wow, that's amazing. Okay, the ring must be destroyed in order to defeat Lord Voldemort. First though, it may be used as a phone stand. So it's got how to use on the back and it says other uses. Once attached to your phone, you can place a finger in the ring to keep your phone from slipping out of your hand. <laughs> you can raise the dead, only the stone is needed. Love that. And then it says become the master of death by combining the stone with two other deathly hallows. Ooh. And then it tells you how to attach it to your phone. That is the coolest phone accessory I've ever seen. <sighs> this box is making me aggressively happy. <laughs> okay, we've got a little box. We've got another little box. And then we've got a very exciting box. And then we've got more things in there. Okay, I'm gonna start off. Oh, damn, that's good. This is one of the coolest pins I think I've ever seen, genuinely. These are fantastic. Okay, here we have it. It's the Pensieve as a pin and it spins. That's so cool. This is so cool. And it says, into the Pensieve, dust and pages, lit joy, crate exclusive. That is quite something. That is a really cool idea. Ooh, can you see when it spins? That is so, that's just genius. I don't know which little box to start first. I'm saving this one because it says this book is property of the half of Prince. So we're gonna wait for that one. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo, catch a tiger by its toe. If it squirrels let it go, any mini money mo. Okay. Little box. Ooh. What are you? Is this a shot glass? That's a weird thing to get in a uh, subscription box. Farewell, Aragog, king of arachnids. <laughs> and it's got a little baby Aragog. Yeah, it is a tiny little shot glass. I'm guessing this is because they celebrate the life of Aragog. It's a little bit random. It's got me a little bit like, hmm. But still, I don't have any shot glasses in my house, so I'm kind of happy about it. Probably my least favorite item so far, but everything else has been wildly amazing. Okay, the other small box. Oh, It's a little music box. What? It's got forks on it. It's got a phoenix all over it. Okay. recognize the song I do oh damn that's cute yes oh wow I've actually ah oh! <laughs> that accidentally flipped open I didn't realize it opened you can actually watch the music but it also says the <sighs> I'm telling you this box is gonna be the death of me uh, I can't I'm gonna like I'm too emotional. The ones that love us never really leave us. Damn, my feels. That's very cute. I love music boxes. Love that. That's so cute. Good things do come in small boxes. Okay. I want to wait until last to open this because I think that's going to be quite spectacular. I thought this was the last item in the box. <laughs> so much stuff underneath. <gasps> okay. Ooh. This feels like it could be... Oh! It's a book sleeve! I thought it was going to be a cushion cover, but this is even cooler. I really like the book sleeves because I keep my Kindle in them and I'm going to get an iPad at some point and then I'm going to keep my iPad in the 
this is so cute. It's the Vanishing Cabinets with Draco Malfoy in the Room of Requirement. Um, we've got Dobby here um, with all his hats on. It's got a lot of stuff in, in this. If you look at it carefully, there's loads of hidden gems. So you've got the Advanced Potion Making book there next to Hagrid. You've got the DA coin from when they told each other. That's how they found out when the time of the meetings were and that kind of thing. That's really lovely. And then inside it is this kind of goldy colour and it's cushioned. Yeah, I actually have a small book cover collection. The one that I'm currently using is of the Marauders map, but this is lovely. Yes. Okay, Lit Joy. Okay, let's see what else is in here. We Okay, so Lit Joy always do these really sweet magnets. They're really, really nice. Oh, there's one of Lavender Brown that says, I love 1-1 one, one, here. And then you've got Slughorn over here, which is dressed as the um, the armchair when he's found. And then we have got a Christmas ornament of, I don't know, is that, like, it's like a house elf Christmas ornament. And it says, Happy Christmas from the Borough. I feel like I'm missing something from the book. Either way. These are super cute and they always theme their little magnets really well around the books. They're nice. I've got a nice little collection of these going now. Ooh, okay, let's move on because... Ooh, I'm gonna save that one. We've got some mystery cards. They have these collectible kind of cards in each of their boxes too. They're quite nice actually. So I've got the Six of Spades, which is Professor Dumbledore. I've got what looks like Ginny, which is the Sixth of Diamonds. Yes, yeah, she's got a little pygmy puff on her shoulder. And then the Six of Hearts, which is Professor Snape. And then Tom Riddle, I'm guessing. And then we've got Draco Malfoy. And then I've got a Joker card with the Felix Felicis, which I'm guessing is meant to be Professor Horace Slughorn. Yeah, they're really nice quality cards. I never really know what to do with these in this box. The artwork's lovely, but I just don't really have much of a use for them, but that's fine. They're still a cute little thing to look at. So, wow, okay, this is exciting me too. Let's get to the bottom of this box. This print, now that is lovely. This is of Dumbledore. This print feels so luxurious and smooth. It's that kind of soft touch velvet print. And I love the colors of it. That is definitely Hogwarts kind of oil paintings vibe. I just really like it. It's painted really beautifully. I love the little oil painting, like the little oil lantern behind as well. And his little half moon spectacles. I really like that. I think that's one I'm definitely gonna frame and put on my art wall. That's so cute. Okay, right. So that's everything out of the box, but we do still have three things left. Let's have a look what's inside this small little brown cardboard long envelope. I'm guessing this might be a bookmark. Get out. Oh, it is. Okay. Oh, now that is nice. The artwork on this is so cool. It's of Bellatrix Lestrange. And then on this side, we've actually got Snape and Narcissus, the unbreakable vow when they're doing that. And then it's like, woohoo. And if you break that vow, then you're gonna die. This is lovely. I love that it's on wood as well. It's a very nice quality. I'd love to know the artist that did that. I guess we'll find out. Two things left then. Let's have a look at this. So this, says Professor Slughorn on it. That wax seal is beautiful. I don't want to ruin the wax seal, so I'm actually gonna use my knife. Okay, let's have... Ha! That's so cool! This is a fabulous paper replica that I've never seen anyone do, and it's foiled. Oh yes, look at that shiny goodness. Oh. Okay, so this is the Christmas party invitation that Professor Horace Slughorn holds for his like special students, his favorites and everyone that's in the slug club. So it says you are cordially invited to a Christmas party hosted by Professor H.E.F. Slughorn, December the 20th at 8 p.m. The party will take place in Professor Slughorn's office at Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry. That's just lovely. Um, what a Christmas decoration. I'm gonna whip that out at Christmas. That's so nice. God, this box is awesome. Okay, this box is a Lit Joy Crate exclusive and it says this book is the property of the Half-Blood Prince. I honestly have no idea what this could be. 
let's just open it on up. Cute, cute, cute. Adorable. <laughs> wow, okay. <laughs> let's take this out, shall we? Ah, this is amazing. Okay, you're not ready for what you're about to see. So keep watching because I've just seen what's inside this. Okay, so it says advanced potion making and then it's got the author. And then on the back it says new edition, Libertius Borages, wow, I can't read this. I haven't got my glasses. Definitive guide to antidotes and elixirs. Now updated to include the latest in innovations in potion making. Recipes include the draft of living death, Felix Felicis and Hickoffing solution. Oh, and it's even got a little, it's even got this really tiny label that says two galleons at flourish and blots. That detail is perfection. This is beautiful, okay. Oh, she's cute. Look at this. Oh, it's upside down, but it's cute. Hang on. Let's, firstly, let's put that in the right way. Here it is. Felix Felicis. It's got these kind of gems in it. Not gems, they're kind of like golden beads, which is quite sweet. It's a shame that it's not liquid, but I could probably DIY that to be liquid, but it's still nice. Now we know what the stand is for, so let's just have a little look-see. How this fits. Do you fit in there? I have to be careful because this... Oh, there we are. There it is. You've got your very own Felix Felicis. Now, it isn't the exact shape of the Felix Felicis bottle. So I've just grabbed my liquid luck bottles that I do have. And as you can see, they're quite bulbous, I think might be a good word for it. And this one's quite straight down, but it is still pretty. I wonder if I could use this stand on using some of the other bottles. Let's have a see if it's got multiple purposes. Are you gonna stand it? No, probably not that one. No, I think I could, probably could DIY it to hold them, but it's still a nice piece and the thought behind it to include a stand and not just this. I really like the attention to detail because these stands are so cool because these bottles can't stand on their own. And the fact that it was inside an advanced potion making book, that's something all right. I'm, yeah, I'm really pleased with this entire box. Goodness gracious me. So there we have it. A little Felix Felicis, my own little vial of liquid luck. That brings us on to the cheat sheet. Now, I wasn't lying when I said that their cheat sheets are absolutely fantastic. They're like a book and it's double-sided. Oh, I don't think I'm gonna be able to read this all to you guys just because it's so long. I will read a few little segments from it. So it says, Magical Edition Crate Year Six. To our Lit Joy readers, greetings, wizards, witches, squibs, and house elves. It is our humble privilege to present to you the Year 6 Magical Edition Crate. We must first thank you from the deepest parts of our hearts for purchasing from the Litjoy Magical Edition collection. No project or product has ever captivated our book-loving hearts like these crates. We pour all the magic running through our veins into this very special crate and we hope it brings a spark of magic into your life. We also hope it brings you love, though not infatuation, <laughs> luck through no danger, and escape, perhaps into the room of requirement. Sincerely yours, which is Alex, Kelly, and the Litjoy Cream. Cream? <laughs> Sincerely yours, which is Alex, Kelly, and the Litjoy Team. <laughs> I can't stop laughing at Cream. <laughs> Seriously though, Alex and Kelly and the Litjoy Team, if you're watching, you've blown me away with this crate. Genuinely, your ideas are always, oh, they're just, they're just fantastic. I'm in awe of you every time. So it's even got cool things in this that make it feel like it's in the wizarding world. So it says, public notice, your information is vital. Death Eaters are among us. Help us to help you inform immediately the magical law enforcement squad of any suspicious behavior. So let's have a look then. So yes, we got a Felix Felicis bottle with gold stand. That was genius. An advanced potion making storage box which is what this is, which is 
honestly lovely it's going straight onto my shelves adopt a pygmy puff that was just delightful i'm so excited about that seriously though if you've got any name suggestions cute little pygmy puff names the weasley wizard wheezy's shopping bag which was double-sided lovely the slytherin locket warning may contain dark magic Ooh. the unbreakable vow woodmark that's clever calling it a wood mark instead of a bookmark I like that got another little advertisement down here that says warning the wizarding community is currently under threat from an organization calling itself the death eaters if you have any information blah -de blah 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 the pensieve enamel pin that was honestly beautiful I loved that it spins trading cards you get a set of six cards the amaltentia love potion candle does it tell me what this scent is it just says a delicious scent may have you falling in love. Tell me what the scent is. Oh, it smells so good. Whoever selected that scent, I want a perfume immediately. <laughs> and then it says reward. The Ministry of Magic is offering a reward of 1,000 galleons for information leading directly to the arrest of any Death Eater. We've got the Gaunt Family Ring phone stand, which was fabulous love love loved that uh definitely gonna have to get a phone case for that we've got the dumbledore headmaster portrait the phoenix lament music box oh that song hagrid's mini mug shot glass so yeah it says join hagrid and slughorn in a toast as they celebrate the life of the great spider aragog with this tiny tankard one won't get you tipsy but a few might don't fancy a drink use this tiny shot glass to store your precious trinkets on your bookshelves thoughtful we've got the room of requirement book sleeve big fan of that the magnetic bookmark set the slug club christmas party invitation I was a fan of that. I was a fan of everything. And then it says, Wizarding Public Awareness Notice. The magical edition, year 7.1, the first of two year seven boxes. That's right, just like that they separated the year seven film, the Daphne Hallows, into two films, you've got two crates, which I'm very excited about. Oh my goodness. Okay, so VIP pre-sales open September 10th, 2019. Join the VIP list for guaranteed 24-hour early access at litjoycrate.com slash magical edition. General pre-sales will open on September the 11th, 2019. Oh my god, that's so exciting. I think that's everything on here. And then on the back, there's like a little photo challenge that you can do. Oh, that's really sweet actually. So from August 5th to August 10th, they've got a little photo challenge that involves some of their items that are really, really fun. And it's a chance to win money off any of their LitJoy items in their shop, which is very cool. And they select winners every day. Fantastic. Oh, this is lovely. I cannot wait to thoroughly read this. Obviously, I'm not going to read the entire thing because it's like a book worth. It's like an entire chapter. But I hope you enjoyed this video. I... Uh, normally I pick my favourite items at this point, but I don't think I can. Wait! Hold the front door! <laughs> Forgot about the add-ons, again. <gasps> More magic! Okay, okay, okay. Forgot about that little piece of magic. <gasps> Ooh! I thought I was done. I lied. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. As I was saying though, I genuinely don't think I could pick favourite items. Maybe the locket and the pygmy puff. But I really like the party invite and the pit. No, I, the box as a whole is a favourite. There you go. Right, so these are magical add-ons. Let's see what... Ooh. I think I know what this is going to be. And that is really cool. Is this, is this actually gonna be size of a tapestry? The tap, what? Whoa, that's going up in my bedroom. That's so cool. Oh, wrong way around. Ooh. <sighs> that is very cool. That is the family black tapestry that has been, I mean, it's not the exact tapestry. The artwork has been designed for Lit Joy Crate, but that is huge. I can't possibly show you how big it is. That's very cool. Like, oh, I, and I guess you could use it as some sort of scarf. 
it's a little bit big for a scarf <laughs> no it's definitely a tapestry that is so cool it's so big i can't really take it in <laughs> oh god no in pg channel i'm sorry <laughs> oh. <laughs> i'm sorry everyone wash out your ears put some earmuffs on okay what else have we got here we have got oh. Is this one of the books that was in the restricted section? It says Magic Moste Evil. I think this is the book that Hermione got from the restricted section. I'm pretty sure it's from the restricted. It does say restricted on the back as well. It's also got another stamp which says Hogwarts Library, which I'm liking. This is a really sturdy notebook. Inside it's kind of dark arts themed and lined pages we do like lined pages it's even got a bookmark in there as well that's really nice actually and even the spine's pretty cool oh that's going straight onto my bookshelf because it's like a magical book really like that let's see what other extras there are firstly this has grabbed my attention this is like add-on so this isn't half blood prince themed now we've got newt scamander isn't that lovely who is the artist of this i'm not sure i don't know if there's like information in this box in this like add-ons about what the artists are i can't see anything but that's really nice that's another one that i would happily frame that's i think that needs to go on my art wall as well that is delightful love 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 we have got a magical print of gilderoy lockhart on this really kind of soft velvety luxurious kind of feeling paper really really nice oh it looks like it's been signed by gilderoy lockhart as well and kind of like gold here that's very cool. I love Lockhart. He's so silly, but I, I like him because he's annoying. <laughs> okay, we've also got lots of magnetic bookmarks. We've got one of the Golden Trio. We've got Hermione, Harry and Ron. Very, very sweet. Wow, I've got so many bookmarks after today. And we've got the other set. Oh, this is not really nice. It's got a little mandrake. Mandrakes are my ultimate favourite thing. And we've got Cornish Pixies. We've got Aragog on roller skates from when he was a boggart. We've got Dobby the House Elf and we've also got Forks the Phoenix. So those are the bookmarks. And the final thing in here is a print. That's adorable. It's Harry and Ginny making out in the Gryffindor common room. <laughs> That's so cute. Oh. That's very, very cute. This print feels so good. That's really sweet. And he's holding like a Quidditch World Cup and stuff. Nice. Sorry, I went silent in my own little world there. I was just uh, taking it in, enjoying enjoying the arts. Liked that. That's the end of the add-ons. I kind of wish there was a little cheat sheet for that because it just would have been nice. But overall, oh, I don't know what to say. I don't know how to end this video. It's It's been an absolute joy to open the Lit Joy Crate Magical Edition Year 6. They're the boxes that make me the most happy. They're, they're just filled with joy. Lit Joy Crate, you see? They're, they've got the joy. Yeah, I don't think I can pick a favorite out of anything. I, I genuinely enjoyed everything, which is really rare. I've, I mean, there was one or two things so I was like, eh. But honestly, I liked everything. And I think that's what's so amazing about these boxes. And I 100% recommend these. So if you are interested in, in the year seven boxes, that's right, there is two, then definitely go check out LitJoy down below. They are magical family approved. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. I guess I will see you in my next video. Bye guys. That was the coolest box I think I've ever opened. <laughs>